All right, guys, if you like saving money and winning money, then this video is for you because we're gonna be doing both. Stay tuned. As the title suggests, today I'm going to be sharing with you my 20 favorite home products from Amazon under $20. Also, if you're not new to my channel, you know I'm horrible with counting on lists. This could really be 23 things, it could be 18 things. I don't know, it's always a little bit of a grab bag when we get to the end. And even more exciting than that, Today's video is actually a collaboration with one of my best YouTube friends, Shay Whitney. Many of you have probably seen Shay Whitney around the YouTubes before, and if you haven't, you absolutely need to check her out. She shares amazing Amazon finds as well. Her Amazon storefront is actually one that I always like to check out, especially when I'm doing Christmas shopping for the year, because she's so good at finding really good quality, like high-end Amazon products. And unlike me, Shay is very, very fashionable. So today she's going to be sharing her 20 best fashion finds from Amazon under $20. And we're also going to be giving a cash giveaway to you guys as sort of a little celebration of this collaboration. So we're offering a thousand dollars cash giveaway. You can choose it as cash, you can choose it as the Amazon gift card. There will be information in the description box down below for how to enter, but essentially you just need to be to subscribed to Shay and to myself and leave a comment in both of our videos. All right, we're diving in in no particular order as people like to say in the first First product is the wooden wall hooks. I actually have two different sets from Amazon. It is my favorite place to go for like really sort of chic, modern looking wall hooks. What I love about these wall hooks is they still look really like chic and elegant because they're right in our main living space, even if something isn't hanging on them. The other set we have are upstairs in our bedroom. We use these for my husband's hat obsession. The best sort of wooden wall hooks that I have seen around at an amazing price. All right, this next product is sort of a newer product to me, um, but I have since bought one for like pretty much every room in our house that we need them. And it is these leather, um, like faux leather uh, tissue box covers. I don't know what it is about tissue boxes. They decorate them, like they're putting decorations on them, but they're never ever tasteful. They never look good in your decor, you know what I mean? And we have, I've got two small children, like there's always runny noses, so we always have tissue boxes. In our bathroom, we keep one in our main living space. There's always one up in the bathroom, and they just never look that great. And this is such an easy alternative. It immediately makes it look so much more beautiful and seamless in your room. All right, let's talk about a few different bathroom products. The first one is this squeegee. Um, we recently remodeled our downstairs bathroom and added an all glass shower, which is really nice, but you can see everything that is inside the shower when it's all glass. And also glass sort of can tend to get water spots. So you need a squeegee in your shower so you can like quickly squeegee off the water beads when you're done so it doesn't get all water drops all over it. But most squeegees are not all that pretty. The one that they gave us when they installed the shower was like this like bright blue neon thing and it's not gonna look cute in the shower. This one comes in silver, black, brass, and bronze and it comes with a really easy um, like adhesive piece that sticks right to your tile. It is functional because I, it's something that I need in the shower but it's also really, really beautiful. Next up is these bathroom shower hooks. Once again, these come in different finishes to match the bathroom that you have, but essentially they are designed to just hang over the edge. These will work on any frameless glass shower. And what I love about them is there's no suction, there's no adhesive. You can take them off and on like kind of as you need them. And it just adds a little bit of extra storage space in your bathroom. Also, I just have to read this little like tidbit that's in the description of this product. It says lengthened to seven inches based on market research makes it more friendly to shorter people and more convenient for use. I appreciate the attention to detail. All right, next up is the Wush screen cleaner. I don't know, I guess this is a home product because it's, I mean, it's for my computers, which always are living in my home. I don't know why it took so long to find like a good screen cleaner because my laptop screen is constantly getting dirty because I'm sitting at it all the time, like editing videos and doing work. This comes with like a little microfiber wash thing. You just spray it on the cloth, it wipes your, screen totally clean. I literally use this like once a week now to clean my screens. I use it on my phone screen. I can use it on any desktop or computer screens that I need to. It's sort of like one of those weird products that you just never had. And then once you have it, you're like, oh, oh, this is how I was supposed to be doing in life. I was just doing it wrong. I was doing it all wrong, but now, now I know. All right, guys, I have not one, but two different laundry hampers to share with you. That's just how much I love to do laundry. No, the truth is I've had a lot of really bad laundry hampers in my life. And the other truth is with a family with two small children, like there's just laundry every day. I, for the amount of laundry I do, there must be more people living here that I don't know about. 
I don't see them, but they gotta be somewhere. So a good laundry hamper, basket, whatever the word that you wanna use is, is vital. And I have found two that I really, really love, both from Amazon. So the first one is one I've told you guys about quite a few times, and it is my over the door laundry hamper. We use this in our kitchen. Having a laundry hamper in your kitchen is such a game changer, especially with children. But there's just like, you don't really think about laundry in the kitchen, but it happens because you're using bar towels to clean up. You have dirty dish towels. Um, your kid, you know, eats applesauce and I don't know what it is about applesauce, but it's always everywhere. Like you can easily just grab the dirty stuff and throw it right in while you're in the kitchen, but you don't really want like a laundry basket hanging out. So we actually installed this back of the door one on the back of our basement door, which is right off of our kitchen. And this is like one of my most favorite Amazon products ever. It comes with adhesive clips, which have held up amazing for us. We have not had any issues, but it also comes with over the door clips if you want. It's got a hole in the top, really easy to throw your laundry in. And the best part is the bottom zippers open. So you just carry that thing down to the washing machine, you zip open the bottom, everything falls into the washing machine and you're good to go. All right, second laundry hamper that I really love is technically listed over $20, but it's often on sale and often on Amazon lightning deal, making it under $20. So I just, I have to throw it in. Now, like I said, I'm 34 years old. I have used my fair share of laundry hampers and this is the best one that I have ever found. So this laundry hamper is sort of like fabric in the sense that it kind of can collapse and you can kind of like push it down on itself, but at the same time, it's completely freestanding. It's ultra big, you can fit a lot of laundry in there. It's extremely lightweight, so if you need to be carrying it from room to washing machine, that is not an issue. And most importantly, the handles are key. You only need one hand to pick these up because of the way that the handles are designed and because the sort of like flexible nature of the laundry hamper itself, you can easily pick it up with one hand. The inside of it has a waterproof coating. Honestly, I feel like I'm saying a lot of things about a laundry hamper, but it is my favorite laundry hamper that I have found for everyday use. This is how you know it's good. Even my husband commented that this was the best laundry hamper we have ever had. So I feel like that's saying something. It's so good that this is conversation that my spouse and I are having over dinner. All right, next is the electric lighter. I feel like I've been seeing people talk about these for a while and I finally got myself one and I get the hype. This is a lighter, you charge it USB and then it just uses electricity to light your candle, which is not only really great because you're not having to like rebuy new ones when your lighter runs out of the fluid, but it's also oddly satisfying to light something with electricity. We've pretty much switched over to all electric lighters in our house and I actually have bought a good handful of them to stick in people's stockings this year because I feel like it's a really great gift. All right, I have two um, like outlet chargers to tell you about. The first one is this retractable outlet. Now something that may be important to know about me is that I hate excess wires. I hate seeing the wires. I hate them like taking us, I don't know what it is just a big pet peeve of mine. So I love that this is retractable because you can essentially just pull out just as much as you need and you don't end up with all of this excess wire hanging around. All right, the next up is this power strip that's called Twister and essentially you can really configure this to whatever works for you. And it helps solve like that problem where you have a regular power strip and you don't have really any flexibility. Um, you're sort of just like married to the straightness and the distance between the outlets that they give you. The twisters slide around. You can make them fit around any corner, around any furniture. You can adjust it to make different chargers fit into it where it wouldn't be able to in a traditional power strip. So basically for any of those like really hard to use spots, it's just like a far more practical design to the traditional power strip. All right, this next one's sort of random. I just thought it was a really nice Amazon product um, for a really great price and it could be a really good gift. And that is these propagation bases. Now I am no green thumb by any means, but I do have house plans and I do on occasion propagate my house plans. I usually am just like trying to shove them into drinking glasses or whatever and like I'm have them up on my counter and it doesn't look so cute. This is just a really nice, sleek, beautiful propagation vase that you can use for any propagation that you're doing with any of your house plants or succulents or whatever. All right, next up, I found a amazing throw blanket. I know that there's like a bajillion throw blanket options, but we take we take throw blankets very seriously in our house. Like I want it to be super cozy. I want it to be big enough that like I can snuggle underneath of it. 
Um, you know, I want it to be soft. Like there, there's a lot of qualifications and I feel like this one checks off all of the boxes. It comes in like eight bajillion different colors. It has this really cute, cute pom-pom design. Looks great when it is just laying out, but it's also like the warmest, nicest, coziest little blanket ever to have. Like barefoot dreams, you're spending a hundred and whatever dollars on a blanket. I'd be like worried to eat my dessert while I'm holding it. All right, next up is my favorite candles that I have found um, from Amazon and it is the brand Lulu's Candles. Um, this is the six ounce jar and it has a 40 hour burn time, which I think is insane. But what I also really love about these candles is they're vegan soy, they're poured in the USA and they have a cotton wick. I'm not like so particular about my candles that like I'm only ever buying like the best of the best. Like I'm still like burning whatever candles here and there. But when I can in general, I do try to buy soy based uh, candles because they do burn a lot cleaner. Obviously you're like burning a candle in your home, like whatever you're burning is going up into the air. And the smells are so good. So this one, which is one of my favorites is the brown sugar and an ode? I don't know why I never realized that it was just called brown sugar and ode. What the flip is ode? I don't know why I never thought this about this candle before. Ode is a kind of wood. The fragrance is unsurprisingly described as warm, woody, with a slight hint of damp rot. Oh, lovely. Um, anyways, this doesn't smell like damp rot. This smells like amazing fall, winter coziness is how I would describe it. Anyways, highly recommend these candles. They're my favorite from Amazon. All the scents that I've had so far are really good. All right, next product is Museum Gel. I feel like I first heard about muse Museum Gel probably on TikTok back when I still use TikTok. I don't really use it anymore. Essentially what this is, is it was originally designed to be used in mu museums to put on the bottom of artifacts to hold them in place. Um, but then it easily removes like when you need it to be removed. I use this all the time in my home to keep things like set specifically in drawers. Lots of times I'll use it for like my drawer container organizers so that they're not like sliding back and forth when you're opening doors. I've tried so many different solutions for this. I've tried like command strips. I have tried um, like different adhesives or whatever and all of them over time end up coming off. This, it does not. I've been using this in our bathroom. Uh, I probably put the ones that we have up there like a year ago and they're still holding in place perfectly. I use them in my kitchen. This stuff is like just something to keep in the house so that when you need it, like it'll be there. It just holds stuff in place. And then when it's time to take it off, you're not damaging anything. Like I said, this was like literally designed to be used on like artifacts and antiquities. All right, next up is these silicone felt covers for the bottoms of your furniture. If you have any hardware floors anywhere in your home and you have any like chairs or tables that slide around on them, you probably have tried to do the little felt coaster bottoms to prevent them from scratching your wood floors. But the annoying thing is they always fall off and then like the dog eats them or your like child is running around with them. They never really stay on that well. And I discovered these guys about a year ago and they're so much better. Now they come in a few different sizes so you do need to make sure that you're like measuring what the width of the leg of like your chair or your table or whatever it is that you um, need to cover. What I love is these slide over the legs and so you don't have to worry about them constantly falling off every time they get snagged on a rug or like somebody hits them with their foot. Occasionally, they do still fall off. I'm not gonna say this is like foolproof, but if they fall off, you just slide them right back on, unlike these sticky ones where like now they're ruined. Once they've fallen off, you have to go get another one. All right, my friends, that does it for my 20 something favorite home products under $20 from Amazon. Don't forget to enter to win that $1,000 cash giveaway. Who doesn't want $1,000 cash? I mean, I want $1,000 cash. All the information is down below. Just make sure you subscribe to myself and to Shay. Leave a comment on both of these videos. Wish you guys a lot of luck. I'm really excited for whichever one of you wins. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Remember to be kind to yourself and to others, and I will see you all in my next video.